Thanks, Yvonne. Yeah, I, I asked Yvonne not to say any more because I want you to form your own first impression. So what do you think? Have a good look. <laughs> it's actually about how do we get diversity of thought around the table. So what can we do about all these biases? Well, I want to give you some tips. We've got some personal actions we can take. So there's some things we can each do to try and become more aware of these automatic um, neuroprocessing errors that can happen. But there's also some leadership actions that we can take as well. But then there's this whole wealth of diversity under the waterline. People's thinking styles, their personality, whether they're an introvert or an extrovert, their past experience, their professional experience. All of those contribute to this wonder of diversity of thought that we're trying to harness in our organisation. So let me give you a practical example of um, unconscious bias. This is a picture of um, my twin sister, Deborah Searle. I don't know why I just labelled that, because she's obviously not the other woman sitting there. <laughs> We want to be fair because we want to be treated fairly. And yet I've discovered that sometimes I do exclude people. And I, I don't usually mean to do it, but I found ways of catching myself. And I'd love to share some of those ways with you. <laughs> See, I have a proper sized dog. Oh yeah. <laughs> These people are not in my in crowd. <laughs> Unconscious bias, it's there, it does exist. People say, you know, I don't see color, I don't see this, or I don't see that, but it exists, and we really do have it. So it's a good thing that she mentioned about looking at yourself and your motives and your reason for why you do what you do. But what happens if you substitute one category of people for another? Does it still look fair? Oh dear. One, two, three, go! Who do you talk to in the office and who don't you talk to? Who do you share business critical information with and who don't you? Who do you choose to mentor and who don't you choose to mentor? Can you see any patterns in the things that you do? If we're going to have truly inclusive meetings, we should have disagreement. If you've got different people around the table, you either have disagreement or you have dishonesty. So our unconscious attitudes may be utterly incompatible with our stated conscious values. Welcome to this course in which we'll be exploring unconscious bias. We're all in this together. This isn't some sort of HR initiative. The idea of inclusion begins in each one of us. It's worth investing your time in understanding diversity and inclusion and inclusive leadership because this is about future-proofing your leadership skills to make sure they're still relevant, whatever the profile of people looks like that you end up leading. So I wish you a great tequila-filled party tonight. Thank you. <laughs>